Hadi kal. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another YouTube video today. Interesting talking point. Travis Bajant yeah, shaking up the arm wrestling scene on the social media side of things again. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to read this one. I want to get your opinions on it, but on Uncle John, uh, Uncle John's arm wrestling show, uh, just uh, I mean, eight hours ago, uh, a video was released where Travis Bajant has declared his intent to be back in the world of competitive arm wrestling and he's outlaid the plan, the process and a few different things that he's kind of called out in the situation. I know, with, are you a fan of Travis Bajan or are you a uh, hater of Travis Bajan? I think there is the full spectrum of people on this one so I'm going to play for you now the compiled edited version, the short and punchy version of what Travis has said and I want you to tell me which Theme music suits it best. I've overlaid a couple of different theme musics. You're going to relate to one of them more than the other. One of them is going to be hardcore. You're excited to see Travis return. The other one, you're going to be like, I don't believe you for a moment, Travis. You're just chasing the money and looking for the glory. What? I don't know. You decide. And then I'll talk about it afterwards. Anyway, here we go. Travis Bajan on the Uncle John's Arm Wrestling Show. Come December. Come December, I'm going to be back. He does not feel human right now. I am telling you right now, I am the champ. There ain't no doubt about it. So my first guy I'm gonna knock off is that sorry Cody Merrick. Oh, this is all Cody does. Oh, this is all Cody does. This is all Cody does. Don't let that exterior fool you with Cody Merrick. So we're gonna have this thing. January, February, and if he's chicken, then March it is. Whatever it takes for him. And we're gonna do this thing, and I'm just gonna come out right away. Bam! And I'm sure Bob Brown, I'm sure Mr. Bob Brown is gonna be all up in it so he can referee if he needs to. And Dallas Langston and Brian Johnson, all them boys out there who done got Cody's at. Y'all all done did this to Cody. You guys helped spread them false lies about Cody. Cody being, it's then Cody. The Cody ain't the champ. I'm the champ. I shouldn't even be allowed to arm wrestle up there. I'm a right-handed guy. Because I'm telling you, I think I'm third right-handed today in the world. Not in Pataluma. I don't know. I might have to whip Devin's ass. That's or four. I got to whip four. Boy, see Devin. Yeah. i will me and Devin box. That's going to be some shit right there, man. What? What? Mate. Oh, man, I'm a fucking gym with Barry Bourne in there. There we go. All right, as you can see, it, uh, it, it, it looks, that video looks very different. It feels very different depending on which background music he's playing. Um, well, I don't know, it's hard to say. Tra Travis has been someone that's been all the way to the top of this sport. He's then been someone who's been like, I got nothing to prove. I'm just going to run events. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to work my business. I'm going to do my thing. And I'm going to make money doing that. And he's done that quite well. Um, where right now, I feel like he's maybe tempted. I feel like he's maybe legitimately tempted. I feel like the way that the arm wrestling world has evolved right now. Uh, the big events, there are no WAL tournaments with big money. There's no PAL tournaments with big money. There's nothing going on with big money uh, in terms of the big established organization so I feel like Travis might literally he might actually be like actually hell you know this social media thing seems to be generating a fair bit of interest so if there is money behind a match against Cody Spermer hell yeah I can get back in form and I'll kick his ass Cody of course being a left hand WAF um, world champion people are asking is he the number one left arm in the USA Travis doesn't think so Travis of course previously and almost unanimously considered the world's best left-hander, certainly North America's world's, North America's best left-hander for a long period of time. Um, so he wants to be back. I think that's cool. Um, the right-hand claim of being number three right now, it's a big claim, but uh, <laughs> I love it. I love that Travis is going to stir the pot. Travis is someone that I don't doubt that for a second that he can get back to that level. I don't think he's there right now, as he said, but... He's always going to project forward uh, on what he 
can do and, and where he's at. I get that. And that's awesome. Anyway, I freaking love it that Travis is stirring the pot again. And I really do hope that we do see a match with him and Cody Spermare because... After all, uh, that's that's just a cool match. Is Cody able to knock off one of the legendary left arms of the sport? Potentially the best left arm in the history of the sport? I don't know. Um, but I'd like to watch it. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm sure Travis would give us so many more videos to be entertained by in the process. Anyway, you let me know in the comments how you saw this. Which theme music did you like best over the top of this video? And um, yeah, Travis, Cody... Will it happen? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, hope you will. We'll speak soon. Yeah, that's a bitch!